Next June, James Hagen's name should be the first called at the draft. He's a hyper-skilled dynamic forward who can make a ton of highlight reel plays. And USA back two on one if they hurry. Hagen's over the line with Stiga. Stiga for Hagen's, they score! And then move the head. Hagen's on a breakaway, right to left, the shot saved by Rayler, rebound, they score! Max Plant, left wing, over the line, Hagen's heading to the net, got the shot, scores! James Hagen's! In this video, we're going to be breaking down his best game of last season to look at his overall strengths and NHL projection. We're going to focus on what makes him such a highly dynamic prospect. Higgins dangles into the Saints end, the backhand, they score! We already have our first clue at the start of this game, as he positions himself to get a pass. His weight is already shifted on his right leg and his torso is angled that way. By doing this, if he wants to, he can pick up speed instantly on reception and his stick is in a position to pass off that reception instantly too. He ends up throwing the puck to an area, and then it gets away from him on the forecheck. But these kinds of technical details will enable him to beat defenders and make great plays later in the game. We have to keep in mind here that this is Hagen's draft minus one season. So even more than in a draft year, the results matter less than the projectable elements and skill we see. For such a young player, Hagen's has pretty good defensive engagement. He can pick up his check, pressure attackers at the right time, and he supports his defensemen well enough. We see him work in the defensive zone here. And here's another shift where he performs well defensively overall. His man is the center here of the faceoff. But seeing the attackers climb high and his man staying low, he lets him go and reattaches himself to the puck carrier as he comes down, cutting a passing lane in the process. He shows urgency, but he doesn't overpressure. And I like this pick boy attempt from him to give space to his defenseman to retrieve the puck. Higgins is not the largest forward, but he's very likely going to remain a center at the NHL level, if he keeps improving his defensive details like this. But of course, defense is not his main strength, and not the focus of this video. He's a high-end offensive generator. Look at this pass reception and the next play. He catches this in crossovers, picking up speed and facing his options. He spots a defenseman going down, baits the poke check, and slips the puck across. Again, what makes Hagen so skilled and effective is that he's always keeping tension through his body. When he's about to get the puck, his weight is always on one leg or the other, and he's always ready to spring the puck under a stick toward the net or explode away with it. His skating is the base of his game. Everything he does is in motion. One play feeds into the next. And his hands, feet, and whole body all work together very well. It's hard to explain, but when watching him, Imagine a spring. He keeps himself loaded, compressed, so that he's always ready to explode. As they chip it out to center ice, and Rio Mullen will pick up for USA. 2-1 Saint. We see it in this goal. He fires really hard and with a lot of elevation while being in an awkward position close to the net. And it's because of the mechanics we just talked about. That's a skillful reception. His weight is loaded on his right leg, and then he transfers it, releasing the energy and springing the puck in the net. What makes Higgins so dominant is that he's not just talented with the puck. He can also find passing lanes and play off teammates well. Like here, he skates across the ice and controls his speed to remain onside and find this passing lane. The reception is a bit awkward, so he can't beat the goalie this time. But he shows adaptability here, and even more skill right after. This deflection pass was maybe not the best move. He gives the puck to a teammate facing more pressure than he had. But the touch was great. He slows the puck down just enough to get it to his teammate. It comes back to him, and he gets a one-on-one -on -one and a shot attempt. Blocked by Fisher Scott, picked up by the Saints. Hendrickson falls down and turns it over. Higgins dangles in, cuts to the circle, feeds in front. One-timer, Zemer save, rebound side of the... My goal with this video is not to rewind on every play, but we have to look at this play. He goes inside, the defenseman shifts his weight that way and extends his stick, which gives Higgins the wide lane. And then look at the protection move and his overall flexibility. His torso is facing one board and his knee is pointing toward the other. He walls off the puck completely and with a slight switch of his edge, he turns and passes into space to teammates coming in behind. He made sure to get an extra push in to force the defender to turn and he timed his own move with the defender's turn. By doing this, he bought time for his teammate to arrive and space in the middle for them to attack. And the shift is not over. Watch him try and get free from his coverage in the slot to get a stick on a pass or a shot. 
his feet never stop moving. This was an elite sequence from an elite player. We see the same coordination and playmaking mechanics in this shift. He first intercepts a puck mid-air with one hand. That's really impressive. And then he attracts both defenders on himself and passes back to his teammate. He didn't wait too long to make that pass, because the space of his teammate was closing. At this point, Higgins knows he's on top of his game and facing in a position he can dominate. He backchecks hard and he receives a great drop pass from the other team. Again, look at the preparation here. Higgins knows he can't pull off this backhand until the defenseman declares a stick. So he fakes a return to his forehand, baits the poke check, he evades it and he roofs the shot. This fake also helped him make the goalie hesitate and opened up a hole in this coverage. This shift starts in the offensive zone. The opposition gets the puck, Higgins backchecks and battles for it. He pressures well, keeps the right distance from the play when he's in support, and skates ahead of his man to jump on the loose puck. That's another fun move. He makes his plays counter to the opponent's feet and protects the puck by forcing him to constantly adjust. He delays until his teammates get set. They turn the puck over, but his team will get it back. He will dump in to the offensive zone. 11 and a half to go in the second, it's 3-3. Higgins might never become the strongest board player, but with his skating foundation and ability to manipulate opponent's feet, he will be able to protect the puck well anyway and make plays there. There's a set of harder skills in his game too, that will continue to develop as he matures. He drives inside, goes to the net, and he's not afraid of making contact with the opposition to create higher value plays. We see one of his battle skills in the next shift. They start back forward, right to left. Into the offensive zone, Pegar Cheek rumbles up the left wing. His team gets a chance to attack on the penalty kill. The puck is lobbed in front of him. He waits for the defender to make a play on the puck, lifts his stick, wins possession, and beats the goalie. This next shift is again all about his ability to orchestrate. He supports teammates, get possession, attracts defenders on himself, settles the offense, and passes into space to give teammates time to handle the puck. He always seems to be an option for them too. We're not sure yet if Hagen's hockey sense is above average, high-end, or elite. That hockey sense evaluation will determine if he's an average first overall caliber prospect or an above average one. Jay Reader on the ice to start the third. It's Reader fisting it in deep, but it's not. This is an example of a play where he could have pushed the attack differently. He could have tried to attack that defender with his teammate, creating a mini two-on-one, or he could have made a similar play as in one of the previous shifts. He could have skated ahead, made the defenseman turn his feet, and then cut back. Maybe the offensive picture and his options would have been better, as he would have made the defense move a bit more. Instead, the opposition easily read his pass. And here's another example of a suboptimal play by Hagens. He passes into coverage. Maybe he could have tried making an area pass to his activating teammate across the ice, but that teammate was late on the play so he was placed in a difficult situation. It's clear to everyone watching Hagen's how skilled he is. His handling ability will probably earn the top grade in our draft guide next year. And while his skating output could become even better, the mechanics are amazing, especially his crossovers and weight shifts and overall agility. His shot and passing skills are also high-end. Well, chase, tie game with eight and a half to play, 6-6. Six, six. Sniga on the right wing, the right side out of his own end and to the neutral zone. Zemer hacks it in deep to the Saints zone and it goes back in behind the net. Saints pick it up, up the wall, they turn it over. Zemer on the right wing, his shot in front, tipped by Higgins from between his legs, he missed it. The game ends on a mistake by Higgins. He does not manage the puck well enough and then doesn't skate with enough speed to reach the passing lane and prevent a goal. Those are the kind of mistakes that are expected out of a 17-year-old player. They're nothing to worry about, and they may keep happening next season, as he will be a rookie in the NCAA. But we expect him to score at a high rate, especially if he does center Ryan Leonard and Gabe Perot. the half wall. Eisenman, top of the right circle. Seam pass, Haggins got the shot, score! He wired that thing under the bar. Next season, if he can prove that he's a high-end tinker of the game, on top of showing the same mechanical ability and skill, he will establish himself as the headliner of this class. And if he continues to develop his two-way game and physical skills, he could even become an exceptional first overall pick and a true franchise player.
Left boards, put it to the hash marks. Taken away, good play. And Haggins scores! He goes five hole. James Haggins says, let's make a good day a great day. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out epringside.com for more prospect analysis.